today we're going to do a first impressions of a new release that I'm really excited about. It is called Oriana and it is from Parfum de Marly. So here is the bottle. I just got it in. This came from Saks Fifth Avenue and I sprayed it on about two hours ago. So I have the dry down on my skin. I'll also spray the opening here on a tester strip and kind of talk about both. But these are just first impressions um, so you can kind of get an idea because I know at least where I live, this is like impossible to sample at the moment. Um, so hopefully this will help you. I did blind buy this of course because I couldn't sample it. Um, I, I had a 20% off coupon for sex, which was really nice, but it was still pricey. So I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. Is it worth the price, etc. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So there were a couple reasons why I decided to blind buy this, even though normally at this price point I wouldn't. The first is that Natalie Lorson is one of the two perfumers along with Hamid Maradi Kashani. Um, but Natalie Lorson is one of my favorites. So that really kind of made me want to try it. Also, there's uh, a couple notes or chords in here that caught my interest. First, there's Ambrette in here, and if you know me, you know I love Ambrette. Um, there's also supposed to be an accord of creme chantilly or chantilly cream. Um, and so that was, you know, kind of interesting. I haven't really seen that before um, and made me a little bit curious. And then in general, it's like a, a fruity gourmand kind of fragrance, and I thought, well, I probably won't hate it, and that's definitely true. Let me go ahead and smell the opening. I just sprayed it here. Yeah, so right away in the opening, I, I get, and this was true on my skin as well, I get like a little bit of a tartness. Um, you can tell there's definitely citruses in here. I think it was bergamot, mandarin, um, and grapefruit, I believe, were the citruses that were listed as the notes in here. I would say for me, I can pick up maybe more grapefruit. I mean, in general, you can just kind of pick up citruses, but I would say maybe the, the tartness is coming from the grapefruit and I kind of pick that up more. I also can get a little bit of black currant, but it's not super strong like it is in some other fragrances. Also, it doesn't go that like cat pissy route <laughs> that black currant can sometimes, for example, in Junk from Lush. I really wanted to love that fragrance because of the name, uh, but uh, the black currant that does not play nice on my skin, whereas here, um, and same on my skin, I don't really pick up any of the unpleasant trees that can be associated with black currant. And I do like that note in general most of the time. Um, but anyway, I would say you get the citrus, uh, like a tart citrus, you get a little bit of the black currant um, fruitiness. I would say just in general, sort of like reddish, dark kind of berries and fruits is what I would pick up here. Um, and then you can right away, at least in my opinion, get some of that creaminess. And I'm assuming that's whatever is in here to create that Chantilly cream accord. The other note that I pick up right away in this, and I would say last kind of throughout is the orange blossom. And so I think right away people hear orange blossom with like creaminess, or I believe also there's supposed to be a marshmallow accord in here. And they think Love Don't Be Shy from Killian, because that's a very popular fragrance that features notes of orange blossom and like a marshmallow thing going on. And I would say that's a fair comparison. I don't think that they are identical uh, by any means. This actually is much, uh, at least in my opinion, more like creamy um, and a little bit maybe less Fruit Loop like, or not Fruit Loops, but Fruity Pebbles is what um, Love Don't Be Shy from Killian smells like. To me, like it smells straight up like Fruity Pebbles. This is a little bit less so that and more that with a combination of like a creaminess um, to it. So yeah, I get that, especially in the opening and I can see where people might make that comparison between this and Love Don't Be Shy. Um, if you already have love, don't be shy. I, I think you will recognize the opening as being somewhat similar. And so, you know, you might want to think about, do you need both? <laughs> um, but let me tell you a little bit about the dry down now. So the dry down on me definitely changes course quite a bit. In the opening, you do get that tart, almost like a sharp sort of citrus. You have the orange blossom that's really powerful right away. And you have a little bit of the creaminess. But what happens as it transitions is that on my skin anyway, a lot more of the creamy aspect comes out, but I do pick up the ambrette and sort of like a slight muskiness, but it's mostly probably ambrette because ambrette does um, go a little bit in that musky direction. Um, so I would say that does start to come out on my skin in the dry down. I honestly don't think I would say this smells like a marshmallowy fragrance in the dry down as much. More, th more so it's the creaminess, like, and I mean, I guess, when you think about marshmallows versus Chantilly cream, they're sort of in the same line, but to me, it's more of a creaminess as opposed to straight up marshmallows. 
Honestly, the dry down has almost like this sweet skin-like quality to it. And I think that is because of the combination of the sweet, like fruity florals that are in the opening with the like marshmallow creme chantilly accords that are in here combined with that ambrette because that ambrette can kind of give like a, almost like a skin-like quality, at least in my opinion. Um, it can kind of give that, that feel uh, because it does, like I said, it does have a little bit of a musky character to it. Sort of dirties things up a bit, but not in a bad way. Um, so I kind of get that. And I will say the other thing that I probably pushes my brain in that direction of like sweet skin-like scent is that it becomes pretty soft. So this does die down fairly quickly on my skin, or at least in this one wearing. I've only had it on for a couple hours, like I said, but within the first two hours, it's already become uh, more of, I wouldn't call it completely a skin scent at this point. It's not, like I can still smell it around me a bit, but it's definitely a lot softer than that opening was. The opening was definitely much more in your face and probably I would say you could smell it within the room when you first spray it, but now, no, not so much. I, I like it. I do like the dry down and it does have some of the characteristics that I like of Natalie's work. I do think I appreciate a lot of her fragrances because they are like understated in a way. They're like really beautiful combinations of notes that don't like scream, hey, look at me, hey, look at me. Um, and you know, sometimes maybe I do want to say, hey, look at me, but for the most part, I like fragrances that do have like an understated, sort of sophistication to them, or maybe something that's like a little bit more um, of a close wear that's really for my enjoyment, because that's why I personally wear fragrances, uh, because I just enjoy smelling them throughout the day and experiencing that over and over again. So yeah, I find this really, really pleasant. Do I think it's worth the, what was it? I think it's $320, it's something crazy <laughs> uh, for 75 mils. I still really dislike that Parfum de Marley charges more for the feminine marketed fragrances than the male marketed fragrances. Um, maybe they're using more expensive ingredients. I don't think so. Um, I think they're just doing what like a lot of companies do and charging more for the female marketed fragrances. But um, I don't love that. I think in general, this is a good fragrance. I think, you know, I'm glad I got the 20% off, but I like it. It's not a love for me right now. I'm definitely gonna play with it some more and see kind of what I think about it, wear it a few more times. But for me, I would say if you can test it, you should test it because I, I think that a lot of people will like this fragrance. I'm not certain that lots and lots of people will love this fragrance, if you know what I mean. And at that price point, like you kind of get into where I'm like, I should love this, right? Like for that much money. So um, yeah, I think that this is a good fragrance and I enjoy the, the scent of it. The performance I think is gonna maybe irritate some people. Uh, because a lot of times people, when they spend a lot of money, they want it to really project and be smelt all day long. And I'm, I'm not positive. I can't say that this won't, but I'm not positive this is going to do that uh, just upon my initial wear. Uh, that doesn't bother me as much, but to me, I think the reason why it's more of a like as opposed to a love is because it does remind me of some other things. Now, like I said, it's definitely not identical to Love Don't Be Shy, um, but it has some similarities there. I think in general, um, there's probably some other like kind of fruity floral fragrances that this kind of overlaps with. Even in the dry down, there are a few fragrances I have with ambrette in them that this sort of kind of reminds me of. This is definitely more of a gourmand than some of those I'm thinking of. Like there's one from Jo Malone that maybe kind of goes a little bit in a similar direction in dry down. But either way, it's just not like something brand new, I should say, right? Like I don't think it smells exactly like anything, but at the same time, it reminds me of some things. So there's that. Also the performance doesn't seem like it's gonna be amazing. Um, I don't think it's gonna be terrible because I can still smell it two hours in just fine. It's just a little bit softer. Uh, but uh, yeah, for the price point, I think this is definitely one that I would not recommend blind buying. You should check it out, make sure you really love it. But of course, it's your money, do what you want. I'm just here to help. <laughs> So um, I hope that this was helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I have no clue what side it's on. You would think at this point, I know where to point. I don't know where to point. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.